Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? This flashlight was sent in to me for testing and review. The maximum lumens, 3000. The maximum beam distance, 250 meters. This comes with a recharging cable, a lanyard, and a spare o-ring. It also comes with a belt holster, has a strap there, and velcro. Here is a closer look at the light. It has texture here for grip, baffles here to dissipate heat. It's got an orange peel reflector, right? It also has crenellations there. It has a two-way quickly removable pocket clip, and it has lanyard slots there. Right. It can tail stand, and these can be an impact device, but also, if you set it down there, they allow you to see if it's on or off. This also comes with a 21700 battery, and to access it, you can just unscrew the head assembly from the body. That's the battery. It's a very high capacity lithium ion battery. In order to recharge it, hook it up with the cable provided to any power source. All right, this is a power bank. When it's recharging, that light will be red. When it's fully charged, it will be green. To turn the light on, press the side switch. To turn it off, long press it. All right, so this is the low mode, medium, high mode, turbo, and now it steps down, right? So this is the high mode again, medium, low, and this is what they call the echo mode. It's the ultra low mode. It is a candle type mode. This also has mode memory, so you know when you turn it off, it will come back in whatever mode it was in. Now a double tap will shortcut to strobe, and another double tap will be SOS. All right, warning, we're going to flash. That's strobe, and that's SOS. Now to check the voltage, press this three times from off, and it will blink the voltage. Turn off some studio lights so you can see that better. One, two, three. One, two three, four, and one red. So, the voltage is 4.1 volts. In order to lock the flashlight, you press this until it flickers, right? So it is going to flicker or flash after a while. Hold on. You'll see it. There you go. So it's locked out. Now to unlock it, they say, click it three or four times, all right? So now this is unlocked, right? So there you go. Now if you press this four times from off, you will get to a beacon function where that will blink every once in a while. Okay, one, two, three, four. You see how it blinks every once in a while? That's the beacon function. Now, is there any suggestions that I would make to this company? The only thing I can think of is adding a shortcut for the turbo mode. Okay, YouTube, we're out on the old testing board with the EA25. Let's go through the brightness levels. Wow. All right, and that's as bright as it goes. Yeah, that's, that's impressively, impressively bright for a single battery light. Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're at the road of no street lights with the EA25. All right, so what can we see? Wow. All right, lights up the whole road. So if you broke down on a country road that has no street lights, this is what you would see. We've got some vegetation. Got the woods, a few Sasquatch. They're just off camera, I swear. There's a few Sasquatch over there. Here is a top view beam shot. Nice. Let's see here. Wow, yeah, this lights up the whole road. Okay, we are at Frog Creek with this EA25. Check out the water, and you hear it. Yeah, can you hear it flowing strongly? That's because we just had a snowstorm, and it all melted. All right, down the creek. This is doing a great job of lighting up the creek. The opposite bank. 
treetops. That's the moon up there. Yeah, excellent, excellent. We're out on the sports field with uh, EA25. Standing in one goal, let's try to cross the field. Wow, and it does it, no problem. Look at that. Yeah, you can see there's some stuff in the air, but yeah, this clearly, this clearly crosses the field. That's some good performance, definitely. For a single battery light, 3000 lumens is quite bright. In fact, I remember years ago that that was not even possible years ago, and now, well, here we are. Overall, this would make a very nice everyday carry or every night carry light. That battery has a lot of capacity, so this would have a lot of endurance. Now, regarding the comparison between the P36 and the EA25 from this brand, this has a smooth reflector, and it is more specialized to have a focused beam for more long-range illumination. Now, this has an orange peel reflector, and it has a more floody beam, but this brand makes some very high-quality lights. I own five lights by this brand. I've been pretty happy with them. I will include links in the text description box, relevant links, flashlights, as well as other gear. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.